I've just had my coffee. I've just had my water. And I'm taking Scooter home. Let's see if it starts, shall we? Anyway, today it's about a Honda. What Honda would you buy if you was in the Philippines? basic bike that everybody uses for daily transport very very nice and a nice uh, bulletproof engine it's in green these people how they actually engineer these things and how they sort them out this thing is like designed to go off-road beat the shit out of it and then go back on the road I'll go back on it so we've got a C 150s CRF very, very nice. it's so much. this is all plastic but underneath it's all Heavy duty. This side. Got the CRF. In black. Fully automatic. It's uh, bigger in size than what I've got the Clip 150, but it's got the same engine, same running gear. It's got the foot stand. This is petrol. Handlebars are wider. Got a servo for back and front. It's 150,000 peso. Chunky 
your tyres. They do it in the red. They do it in this white. And they do it in this grey. Fifty fuel injection. Let's put the double double shocks. I've got single shocks. It's a very very popular bike. You see lots of them riding around. Kick ass off road tires. As like I said, it's automatic. It's bigger on this back area here. Yeah, this back area. That's the pavilion, it's got a little seat. This is a seating area here. What I don't like about it is you have to cock your leg over to get on it. So if you get T-bone from the side in here, you have your foot, you get hit here, your leg's going nowhere because this is either gonna do damage coming out. That's what I don't like about it. I've, I used to ride a bike like this before back in the UK and I got Oh, sold by it. This is the PC, the 150. Again, it's got this uh, little bit in the centre. It's got all the chrome. It's got the upmarket dash. Hmm. I'm not, not a fan of this bike, but a lot of people are. So this is the 150 Airblade. It's uh, very lightweight, very plasticky around here. The finish here is like garbage, but it's a nice colour. It creaks, but it's 104,000 where you can get the Honda Click over there at 90,000. This is the Airblade. Uh, the finish is there. It's got these nice bits, like this is metal, this looks like metal but it's plastic. And it's all, it's got the same engine as my 150. It's got a mud guard, it's got a little chute in there to turn around and protect you from putting all the crap up, in, uh, up inside here. Yeah, mine doesn't have that. Nice colour. I tend not to turn around and ride in black. So you've got Airblade 150, you've got the PC 150, 150, and you've got the ADV 150. As you can see, they're all getting bigger and bigger until you get to this, this baby. So this screen will move up if you ride along, if you can adjust it. It is a nice bike. I've got the Click, but we've already done the Click, XRM. his mummy and his daddy. So this is the 750 ADV. This is a serious piece of kit. Adjustable screen, comes up and down. Got the binnacle. Oh, right the way down there you can see your shocks going up and down. Hand guard. Fuel injected engine 170. Uh, sorry, 750. Oh, look at that stuff. Therefore on road and off road. Yeah. So that's the exhaust that's coming out virtually vertical from the back tyre, gives you that clearance. So if it was down here, if it went up and down, you'd bash it. This is just coming up. Person sitting on the back might get a hot ass. 
they do it in this nice dual tone red. Oh, that's nice, nice supported hinge for the seat. Very click, looks nice. Alcantara, again it's got this cock over. I've got to get your leg over to get over there. I'm getting too old to ride bikes that look like that. I need to ride a bike that looks like a, a scooter. I can just put my leg through and I'm going shopping. Nice discs, ABS as well. So, yeah, nearly 900,000 peso. Now you got the African Twin. Now this is a serious off-roader. It's won competitions and uh, it's beefy as hell, yeah. So, but it's a big, big kick ass, do whatever you want motorcycle, yeah. I think too heavy for me, too big for me, but some of you guys out there that can uh, handle something as big as this, look at the detail on that. That is actually, oh, my stainless steel. This is like a bad daddy to go out on a Sunday. Um, I don't know what it sounds like, but I would say um, it's like having an orgasm after 20 pints. Look at that. I don't, I'm not a big fan of these really wide, wide handlebars, the ones that, uh, I know there's a reason behind it. So you've got the radiator through here. They're cooled if you're home now. There you go, back into the engine. So these bikes are all designed around their engines. The rest of it, the, the frame is there, but the rest of all of this is just superficial. It's just to make it look very good. So, African Twin. African Twin. Which Honda would you buy? A 750, African Twin? 750 fully automatic daddy bike or a lazy bike would you do a scooter or would you turn around and do a honda retro very 70s isn't it yeah 800,000 peso design of the bike the engine is again it's detailed it's all that finishing it's got a nice sculpted tank leather seat I don't know what I'm doing leather here, but anyway. So all weather tire, not for off-roading, more for cruising, posing, and uh, turn around and saying, look what I've got. Beautiful. Beautiful Honda. Reminds me of a Tronic Bonneville or a Norton Commando. Blade. This is a serious, serious racer uh, and a speed machine. Yeah. The rubber on that is just immense, isn't it? That's for shoving the bike down the road as fast as possible, make sure it sticks to the sticks to the road. With anything over a hundred, you don't stand a chance all sculptured in to help with the airflow. Apart from your legs will be sitting in here. This airflow will go around your legs. Yeah, my God. So the tank is underneath there. That's all plastic sitting there on top of the tank to sculpture it so you can lean across it. Very, very, very nice. What are we looking at? 1,400,000 peso. Indicator is actually on the uh, Binnacles there on the wing mirrors, lights, new retro lights, new cutting air dam sitting in there. Yeah. That's very, very nice, isn't it? We've got 
look at those halogen lights that have been taken from other bikes and this is like the kicker ass bikes on steroids matte black road cruisers sitting there and bars up this is the rebel it looks a rebel doesn't it small tank sit down low to the ground just chill out cruise listen to the noise, the noise coming out of the back big big chunky tires to keep you down the road big big kick-ass engine thumping out power and then here we've got oh I can't actually see it see what it is but it looks let me get closer wow look at that new colours new, new design Michelin, Michelin rubber a sportster yeah damn this is quite nice but it's too 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 big for me too heavy for me look at all that colour it's, it's, it's the detail behind everything that's been put in there to make it make it fit got a little horn down there yeah if that's your style this is a street cruiser and uh, it's 900,000 it's the CBR 1000 it does look nice doesn't it it does it's got no graceful lines but yeah just a little bit too much on this and you are a, a mile down the road and hopefully there's nobody between you because these things today it's about honda what honda would you buy if you was in the philippines